Hey everyone, today we are playing a glitch per difficulty chart obby and I thought I would do something different and record this video with voice so I could show you how to do everything. So it might be kind of a tutorial video this one and with voice so that's kind of new. So but anyway, I'm excited and let's go. A seed glitch. So that's just going through the wall, touching it with shift lock, and then you're kind of through it. Easy enough. Oh, this is, this is just, I'm stuck. I can't go anywhere. Okay, hold on, let me reset, jump. And that's it, easy. Shift lock, easy. Corner clip. Uh, you kind of want to stand to the side here and shift lock, and then you're through. E dance is also easy. Jump. E dance too. Okay, wait till your character is like here. Okay, then shift lock. And then you're through. This is just a truss climb. You want to go to the top. So you go into a climbing position. And you walk backwards. And then you go under it. Easy. You probably know what this is. You've seen me do it a lot of times. Letter flick too. You want to kind of stay. You want to kind kind of stay silent. You can do this. Boop. All right, stay silent. Stay still, and jump. Easy enough. Same as a truss glide. Head glide. This already says how it, how you need to do it. Just stand towards it and shift lock while walking towards it, and then you just keep on walking. This one you want to climb and jump backwards, or you can, yeah, there are multiple ways to do it. Large walk, just let yourself fall and you'll stand on those side blocks. A wall hop, I kind of do it with alignment keys because I use FPS unlocker, but you can also flick at the right time. Uh, so this is just uh, jumping to the seat. Oh, nice. Kind of want to just flick this one. Glitch wrap is kind of the same as a corner glitch. You just stand on the side and you shift lock to the other side. More wall hops. Even more wall hops. Corner clip plus jump. It's the same easy concept, just with a jump in it. Oh, ladder clip. Um, you want to go to the top, you want to get as close, like tap it, get as close to the ladder as possible. And then you want to look to the other side and shift lock, and then you're on the other side. <laughs> it's as easy as that. Here you can just flick. Uh, there are two ways to do it. You can flick with your mouse and jump at the same time, or you can use shift lock and jump. So you stand, look to the side and then shift lock and jump. To start ledge, um, you wanna. For this one, you kind of need to just jump towards it, stay still, like stay still and quickly. Show oh, that was <laughs> that was bad. You wanna do this and this. So it's kind of press. Like I press D first and then I shift lock immediately after. So you climb it. Cross bounce. Well, let's just like um, this is difficult to do with FPS unlockers, so I might need to switch to 60 FPS because the truss the truss works a bit different on higher FPS. So for this, you just use 60 FPS until you get it like that. Like I can, you can also flick that. You can flick this with 60 FPS. E dance to clip plus jump. Also, same concept. Just shift lock jump right after. A body drag. Uh, you wanna. For that, you wanna kinda jump on it sideways a little bit so you get your body stuck between this ledge. It's annoying to do, but.
Oh, yeah, I did it. Just, I held WD and jumped towards it. Which is like corner clips, yeah. You stand to the side and you do that. <laughs> Shift lock. Oh, yeah. Cheer is just E. Cheer. And while you're in the air, you just <laughs> walk. Easy as that. Wait. Oh, this is a no jump as well. Hold on. What I usually do at these is I climb down and I shift lock to the other side. You climb a little bit down and you shift lock. Because you get a little bounce from that. Corner clip. You can kind of do this. Yeah, your corner clip on top of it. Hey, we can jump. So I'm not sure if... Let's see if they have this. You can... No, I think that's... Uh... Okay, for this you can just do... Not that. <laughs> oh my god. Stop. You can just look to the side. I think the best thing to do here is just... While you're climbing up, you want to jump to the other side. Like, climb up and jump. Yeah. That gets the right bounce. Lodge. Oh. They feel kind of RNG to me, the lodges. Because you just do this and you want to find the right point when you're going forward. It's like. It's a lot of mixing and matching to see what works. Yeah, this looks good. We made it. It's just going a little bit to the side and holding like WA or WD depending on. Which side you're going? A uh, wedge fling. For this one you want to stand a bit sideways and jump. And then hope you get a nice fling. Yeah, there you go. I also held um, W and A while jumping. So, And in, in the air go to the... Uh, jump to the other side. Wait, I can maybe show it again. Hold W, D and jump. Yeah, and then go... Then press D so you can... Fly further. Paul fling. Lodge in between. And <laughs> hold jump and you'll fling. Let me show that again quickly too. Shift lock in between. You're stuck under. Hold jump. And then you'll <laughs> fling. Easy as that. Okay, for this you can flick backwards. But I like to just use shift lock. And... Press shift, S, and spacebar all at the same time. And then you can also climb it. Same concept as the other flat wall, just to jump. Easy as that. I love how consistent it is in this hobby though. For this, you want to just go under it. And not get stuck like I do. You can just do this. <laughs> but it might fling me. Okay, it didn't. Good. Truss clip. Also pretty easy. You want to, just like a corner clip, you can stand like this. And I press shift lock S and spacebar at the same time. So you do that. Ooh, this one is interesting. For this one, you want to go into, like, you want to go out of full screen. You want to stand here. And you want to freeze your game while you're in mid air. See, and then you get stuck like that. There we go. Um, for this one, you can go back into full screen. And I like to switch to 240 for long jumps. You can also just jump like that. <laughs> but like doing the way I did before, like that is way easier to do. I love how it says took the new path. <laughs> like it's a sort of shameful thing to do. <laughs> okay, for this one, I'm not sure how far this one is. Maybe I can just jump normally. And... Okay, no, you can't. Okay, for this one then, you want to climb down very little, look to the side, and then shift lock WD space at the same time. And that'll fling you a little bit further than normal. Oh, a mid-air corner clip. 
these ones are kind of RNG. You can get them somewhat consistent, but you need to kind of have a good angle on the jump. So this might take me a few tries. You want to sort of just touch it with this part of your body. Like, don't do it like, like here, but on this side. Because if you just do it like a normal corner clip, it doesn't work. You need to just let your arm touch it. So, like this. And it might take a few tries. Finally, it worked. Why did it take so long? Thank God. What? Okay. What exactly is this? This is just a jump to the... Oh. Yeah. It's just a jump to the next one, okay? Easy enough. Ooh, this one is perfect for alignment keys. You might want to use alignment keys here. I'm not... Oh, it's pretty high up. You just want to basically wall hop. And then immediately, yeah, jump backwards. When you wall hop, you want to jump backwards at the same time. Walking without animation. Oh, this is boring. So basically, you want to angle a bit sideways. Yeah, until you're <laughs> basically moving without animating. So I might just pause forward this. <laughs> this is boring. Okay, we did it. Freeze bounce. Well, the freeze bounce is basically just. I think I need to go 60 FPS for this. You want to freeze while you're inside of an inside of a block here, but I don't see it. So let's just try it. Oh no, we did it. We did it. I don't know what. I think there's supposed to be a block somewhere. And if you freeze in it, if you freeze in it, it just bounces you really high. Yeah, you kind of want to lick this. I'm not good at this. It, like, the best thing for this would be to use 30 FPS. Look, I can show you a better way for 30 FPS. Go to 30. It's a bit laggy, but and then you go sideways, and you just get stuck into the into the path, and it works. This is just wall hop, okay. Oh, perfect. I'm not that amazing at wall hops. At least not when flicking, but we did it. Oh, there's an e chair freeze. Okay, let's go back to 240 FPS. So, yeah, you basically want to freeze your game when you're cheering. e chair. And you need to get yourself stuck. Yep, there we go. Now we just follow the path. You just need to get stuck into this platform when cheering. So freezing the game will do that for you. Oh, we did it. <laughs> I thought I was going to miss it. This one has a shift lock bug. Easy enough. Okay, for this one, just use 240 FPS if you can. It makes it a lot easier. Just stand like this. I want to get this circle aligned, shift lock circle. Climb down one tap, look to the side, and then launch yourself. There we go. This one is go down, look to the side, and shift lock, and it bounces you extra high. This one too, go down. Maybe I need to be 60 FPS actually. I think I do. Oh, oops. 
Yeah, 60 FPS. We just need to go down a little bit. That's about it. We see enough. Without touching the insta kill. Oh, not sure. I need probably. Ooh. When I flick, I press D and W, so I stay steady. <laughs> Did it? First try. Thirteen point three stuff. Shouldn't be too hard on 240 FPS. I can do it. I did lo I did way longer than this. Come on. Don't be such a noob. Yeah, they did. <laughs> Let's go. Easy enough. I think that was it. There are definitely a lot more glitches than this. So um, I might make more videos like these. Because this was not every glitch. 58 kind of glitches so there are a lot more but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you next time thank you for watching